But the judge. a legal person? <laughs> we'll have to talk with the judge about that someday. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. A Kansas seventh grader banned from handing out event flyers at school because her flyers contained some Bible verses. Meanwhile, the school is fine with posters about dead rappers and drugs, but not a flyer that includes a Bible verse. Well, now she's fighting back because religious speech protected by the Constitution, isn't it? Well, here to weigh in, Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. All right, so she was handing out these flyers. She wanted fellow students, and not a lot. She handed them out uh, uh, apparently uh, quite sparingly. Uh, she wanted them to join her at the flagpole for a prayer before school. I, I do not think that this case is a close call. I think the school is so obviously wrong and misguided here in its efforts to uh, maintain order by suppressing the freedom of religion. First of all, <clears throat> students theoretically have the same constitutional rights as the rest of us. That includes the freedom of speech and the free exercise of religion. Now, this girl's not trying to have somebody celebrate mass in the hallway of the school. Right. She's simply passing out literature saying, if you'd like to talk about Jesus or if you'd like to talk about the Bible, I'm happy to meet with you at another time and another place. Schools can restrain speech if the speech is disruptive, but when the speech is not disruptive and when it's especially protected in the Constitution, like speech about religion or speech about non-religion, they cannot interfere with it. Well, here's the problem. Uh, the school has got a policy, and we've got a statement from the school. Quote, the distribution of any religious material is prohibited on school grounds or in any attendance facility before, during, or after the school day or school activity. So you say they've got that rule, but that doesn't fly. That rule is unconstitutional unless they can show that the mere distribution of this literature interferes with the mission of the school. Listen, the, the schools have a lot of authority to control the behavior of, of the students. They right. can even control the behavior of the students off of school grounds and after the end of the school day, if that behavior could arguably affect something that would subsequently happen on school grounds and during the school day. And that's in the interest of safety? Correct. It's also in the interest of the fact that they have a mission. Their mission is to deliver an educational product for which the taxpayers have paid, and students can't interfere with that mission. But where there is no interference or where the school is not able to show Show any interference. The default position is the freedom of speech. The default position is the freedom of religion. And this school board uh, has not been able to show any interference with the delivery of the school's mission by this young woman passing out this literature. Okay, so here, here's the problem with the school statement. You know, if, if, they, if, if they say you can't pass anything out because of a safety issue, why are they okay with posters glorifying dead rappers and drugs and alcohol? Well, that probably gets into the, into the political aspect right. of this. That, and, and again, I don't know the motivation. But if you're talking about safety, you know, drugs and alcohol, not necessarily safe. I don't know the motivation. And I certainly don't know what's in the hearts of the people who wrote this regulation. But it's hard to believe that they would have a regulation that would permit you to distribute literature about dead rappers, right. but not distribute literature about Jesus Christ. Here's a statement from uh, this seventh grader, by the way, now has an attorney who's fighting on her behalf. And uh, the attorney says students do not shed their constitutional rights at the schoolhouse gate. Non-disruptive private student expression is protected by the First Amendment. Now, that, that person is, sounds just like you. Well, that is a nearly, I'm not going to take credit for it, I didn't write it, but that is a nearly perfect description of student rights with respect to public schools today in the United States of America from and after the most recent time the Supreme Court looked at this, which is about three years ago. So what should happen here? A judge should enjoin the enforcement of that rule or... The school what does board. That, mean? That, that means that uh, she will file a complaint before a, a judge. The lawyer will file the complaint, and the judge will prevent the school board from enforcing the rule, and she'll be free to distribute the uh, literature. Or the best thing that can happen: the school board admit they made a mistake. Come on, we nice all make mistakes. Admit it. Maybe they could do it uh, the day before Christmas. You know what? That, too late. It would be too right. late. Now's the time period when you want to be able to exercise that uh, free exercise of religion. Interesting stuff. All right, uh, Judge. Uh, it, meanwhile, uh, 